Hey everyone, it's Bob Perkins coming to you from AISP's Inside Sales Studio here in Gold Canyon, Arizona, where it's sunny and beautiful, uh, bringing you another Monday morning salesman. I'm with special guest Armand Farope. Armand, welcome. Thank you, Bob. I'm super excited to be here and I'm a big fan of AISP too. Yeah, well, it's it's been good uh, getting to know you recently. Um, now, you're the director of sales at Carta, and you also have a, uh, have a, a podcast called Host of uh, 30 Minutes to President's Club. I love that title. So later, you can tell us a little bit about the, uh, the podcast. But today, we're here for a specific reason, and it's how to best handle an objection. And boy, are we hearing some objections today with COVID-19, of course. So mm -hmm. it's all yours. Absolutely. So the, the objection that you're going to get a lot today is not a firm no, but a maybe today. And those are some of the most dangerous things to be chasing in sales when you're on the phone. And so the objection sounds something along the lines of this, of, hey, I'm not interested right now. There are so many things going on. Can you call me in three months yeah. or can you call me in six months? Yeah. And you hear tons of reps getting kicked out. And the most important thing today is you need to, need to figure out which of those you should actually follow up with and are real yeah. versus which ones are just sort of like too shy to tell you no. Yeah. And so the way you handle that is through a tip called laugh and then double ask. So I'm going to laugh to diffuse the tension and to make it sound like I've heard this a million times. I'm going to ask permission to ask a question and then I'll ask a tough question. Yeah. You want to just let's 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 role play right now. So so hey, I'm Ron. I appreciate it. Uh, looks interesting to me, but our company, our, we're you know with COVID nineteen and all that, we're not traveling. Our budget is frozen. How about we maybe take a look in six months from now? Yeah, absolutely, Bob. You know I've heard this quite a bit already. Um, you know it's tough out there. Do you mind if I ask you a, a brutally honest question, really sure. quick? Yeah. You know, honestly, most of the time when people are saying, hey, in, in three months or six months, we want to get back in touch. Usually they're, they're just really polite, kind folks like yourself asking me to go away. Is that what's happening here? Or should I actually follow up in a couple months? No, I, I, I definitely see a fit for uh, the solution. I really do. Um, but bringing it, you know, having it, uh, me presenting this to my boss now would not be the best time like today, right? So that's, that's all. Absolutely. And, and I wouldn't want you going to your boss right now until you were comfortable making some sort of decision. Why don't we do this? Can we get 27 pointed minutes on the calendar so that whenever you are ready to make a decision, you're at least armed with knowledge. So then when it, whenever this thing dies down, you can flip the switch, but I don't want to push you into a decision right now. And so maybe we can just call it a prep conversation next week. Uh, listen, I'm stuck at home. I, I don't mind taking another meeting. Yeah. I'd love to look at it in more detail. Cool. And so there are a couple different ways you can go with that, right? The first thing is, uh, you said, yes, I'm actually interested. And so I can say, hey, I don't think this deal is reasonably going to close in the next three months. And so I can put a note to drip on this person and then follow up in three months. Yeah. Or I can push a little bit harder for the prep yeah. conversation. Yeah. Right. If I got a no, then I got the real answer. And then I don't have to chase the maybes anymore. You know, and, and so many reps, uh, they, they don't want to hear the no. And they're always hoping, oh, I'll, is it, no, I'm not interested. Is it okay if I call you in three months? Well, he, he or she just said, no, this is not a fit. I'm not interested. Why even follow up? Is that, is that kind of what you're saying? Exactly. I mean, you, yeah. you want to get to truth as quickly as possible. Yeah. And then the other thing is it's a pattern break. People are one, the asking for permission itself is a pattern break. And so a lot of people are just like, if they get the three months objection, they're going to say, well, it, are, are you sure? Right. And it, yeah. you haven't gotten the permission to handle the objection yet. Right. So if I ask for permission, it's almost like I have the permission to be a little bit bashful and, and break the dishonesty that oftentimes yeah. happens in sales calls and get right. the truth. Right. And you're, and you're, you gave me permission to really speak truthfully if I thought this could be a fit or not. And it ended up being, this might be a fit for us. Exactly. You yeah. got it. Great. Any other tips before we uh, sign off here? I mean, that's the big one. The biggest thing is a lot of the phones is delivery. And so one thing that I didn't hit on during the call that I used is slow it down. Slow it down. 
and when when you get a tough objection laugh in the face of the objection a lot of junior people they speed up somebody says i'm not interested hit me back in three months and they're like oh can i just get 30 seconds to tell you why i'm calling and they're freaking out yeah they're trying to speed up as quickly as possible but the most seasoned execs they just slow it way down and they're not rattled you use the word diffuse that's what that you kind of pause there and there's this diffuse of uh, some space to allow it to just settle down a little bit. How about the one you hear a lot? Uh, yeah, hey, uh, l- listen, I've been real busy here. I got a lot of meetings coming up. Can you send me a, a link uh, so I can read the information? If you send it to me, I'll look at it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a similar type of philosophy. And so the laugh and double ask still works. And so I'll laugh. I'll say, absolutely. I'll get you that email right away. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you what I should send you because I I sent you a note the other day that was a quick summary of what we do. And then you'll figure out if they actually have an idea of what you want them to send them. And then I can ask, can I ask you a brutally honest question? Yeah, sure. Again. And it's the same thing. Most times when people ask me to send them an email, they're honestly just telling me to go away. A lot of of times that's, that's, that is the case. And uh, you know, by asking the honest uh, question, you're kind of flushing it out a little bit too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. This was fantastic, Armand. Thanks so much for sharing this with our viewers. Everyone, good selling. Stay safe. Uh, Until next Monday, 